while we are doing this review, Anton is calling me. Probably he has this question. So we'll just gonna receive the FaceTime. Hey Anton, we are doing a video about the pulse oximeter. So we are doing like a video of the pulse oximeter. You have any question? Quick question. That's funny. I'm trying to do the blood O2 level on my Apple Watch, right? Uh huh. 96. It's showing 96 percent. What does that mean exactly? Like, what's good levels? Well, uh, 95 to 100 is more or less fine. That's your normal level of blood oxygen saturation. Now, what you should be concerned is that when it goes down from 95 and goes all the way to like maybe 80s or you know like 88s. Now, uh, there is a lot of stuff, uh, and that is the reason I'm making this video. Um, you know, like I would highly recommend you to go and watch that video because uh, there's a lot of stuff that you need to know about when your saturation goes below 90s and if you are having associated symptoms of like any sort of like uh, respiratory distress or you are having like shortness of breath, that's where you should be concerned about. And it's a very good thing that, you know, back in the days in our uh, ER, uh, like all of us, all of our residents, we used to have this pulse oximeter. And guess what you're having with Apple Watch Series 3, 6, Anton? You're have it, having it built in on your wrist. That's that's awesome. That shows that we are in 2020. I know. I just wish they would uh, tell me like what the levels mean exactly, but I'll check it. Definitely check out your video. Uh -huh. um, when is it being uploaded? Uh, so I'm, I'm doing the video right now and um, I'm going to upload it probably tomorrow or day after tomorrow. I'll try to upload it as soon as possible because I know that a lot of other my friends are calling me and they're asking me the same question. So I'll try to make it today or tomorrow. Sounds good. Sounds good. Alrighty. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Alrighty. Take care, brother. I'll call you later. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel, Techadoo. And um, thank you, Anton, for asking this really good question that what is blood oxygen saturation, right? Well, blood oxygen saturation is something that we, uh, back in the days in ER, uh, we used to carry something like this. Now, this is a pulse oximeter. So whenever you put this pulse oximeter, you have been seeing that um, and turn this on. You will see that uh, it shows you, it will try to calculate it and it will show your uh, saturation level and it will show your pulse rate. So right now you'll see that my uh, pulse rate is 103 and 99. Usually a resting pulse rate should be from somewhere between 60 to 90. Anything above uh, is considered to be as a little bit tachycardic. But, um, you know, like 9900 when you're talking or doing any sort of activity is actually more, actually good enough. So don't worry on that. Our main picture will be this, which is SpO2, which is blood oxygen saturation in your blood. Now, this is not very accurate again. Uh, this is our initial step of diagnosis. So 95 to 100 is totally normal. Now, folks, uh, if you are having a scenario where your Apple Watch is just showing your oxygen saturation to be like, 93 92 and 91 and uh, you are not having any symptoms um, like what do I what do I mean by symptoms symptoms means that you do not have any difficulty in breathing you do not have any sort of respiratory distress which means that you are not doing kind of labored kind of breathing or anything and you feel perfectly fine be careful with those numbers because sometimes these numbers might be errors, especially, um, you know, like pulse oximeters are more used in the fingertip. So this is not a perfect analysis of your, um, you know, like saturation of oxygen. And if you're just curious, what is the perfect analysis then in ER or even in uh, our, you know, like usually we do it in more in ER that uh, we use like something called, we call the analysis as arterial blood gas analysis, which is ABG. And ABG is usually taken from one of the main artery. It cannot, it can be taken from your femoral artery or your subclavian artery, or, you know, sometimes I've seen even in like, um, that's a very painful process if you do not have a line or anything connected. So sometimes we do take it from the radial artery, which is, which should not be done because it's a very painful process. Uh, but, uh, you know, like, when there is no other way and there is no line connected to the clavian artery or anything, we usually take it from the radial pulse. Blood oxygen saturation actually falls below 90. That's where you should be worried about, folks. And you should not, never, ever, whenever you see results like this, do not take stress. You see that your, um, you know, like blood oxygen saturation is under 90s and you definitely need to call up your physician.
Do not make this mistake. Call up your physician. Let him know that, hey, my blood oxygen uh, saturation on my Apple Watch, I did three to four readings and every time it came out to be under 90. And also do let him know that whether you are feeling any sort of, uh, you know, like, you know, like any sort of uh, symptoms or not. Um, and now blood oxygen saturation is also going to get used for people, those who does training exercise. Your blood oxygen saturation is also very, very important. Now, why is it so? Because it shows the status of your lungs. Remember um, an athlete named Serena Williams who had pulmonary embolism. Uh, when Serena had uh, pulmonary embolism, um, I'm pretty sure she, and uh, she was playing a tennis match at that time and uh, they were continuously monitoring her SpO2, which is blood oxygen saturation again. So blood oxygen saturation is the first step that everybody needs to take um, and every physician actually takes or measures before uh, you give pure oxygen therapy or before you go for arterial blood gas analysis. Usually in ER, whenever we see somebody is having a labored breathing or when we are seeing somebody is having a respiratory distress or their respiratory rate, which we count a certain amount, there's a certain range to it. I don't want to disclose all this because then you'll be overwhelmed. But when we see that there is a severe decrease in respiratory rate, but somebody's conscious, uh, we usually start to put uh, them on, uh, you know, like some sort of oxygen therapy. Um, also a very, very good tool and kudos um, Apple for uh, bringing the single most important feature in 2020 because now we have COVID-19 going on and then we have people, those who are suffering from COPD, those who are suffering from bronchial asthma and everything. This is a prime, prime importance, folks, because if you are having one of these diseases or if you are suffering from symptoms like this, this is a lifesaver. And uh, Apple Watch Series 6, just changes that game by bringing that pulse oximeter which is FDA approved and um, you know like uh, gone are the, the, those days uh, when you know we still used to carry this I will still carry this because I have to go from one person to another person but my dad carries this I carry this and um, you know like this has saved so so many lives to be honest it's a very prompt analysis you check what is the spo2 level put him on oxygen oxygen therapy and then uh, you know you can do all the other tests uh, tests uh, all the all the other tests and later on you can shift somebody to the wards and they can do follow ups and everything well that's pretty much it folks that was all for blood gas analysis or you can also say that oxygen saturation so yeah take care remember folks whatever you hear from Tekadu, whatever i tell you in this channel your first resort will always always be your prime physician if you're watching from third world countries if you're watching from um you know, from first world countries do contact your emergency services so till then take care good night Are you still there? Um, I hope I did not bore you uh, in this episode with multitude of information. But thank you for uh, staying with us. Thank you for understanding the topic. You do not need to subscribe to the channel because this channel is not a dedicated show off kind of a channel. Uh, most importantly is that please, please share with your friends, families, uh, because this small information about a pulse oximeter that costs you $30 even if you didn't buy the Apple Watch Series 6, is going to be so helpful, not only for you, but your whole family. You do not even have a clue how much emphasis I can give to this pulse oximeter. So take care. See you guys on another health episode, which might happen again next week. Good night.